What is up guys, it is the Pokemon Newbie and I'm bringing you my very first top 5 list of all top 5 Pokemon that I love. BAM! What an intro. So yeah guys, basically I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite top 5 Pokemon of all time. Basically only the Pokemon that I probably know that look kind of badass, look kind of cool, have some cool attacks and all that cool looking stuff. So yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed this top 5 and see you on the other side. At the first top 5 spot. But we have the Pokemon we should all keep away from Michael Vick, and that Pokemon is Entei. Was that a messed up joke? I think not. Thumbs up for that joke. Well, guys, you guys are wondering, hey, how do you know Entei? He's probably one of the, like, older Pokemons, but you just... I, I know about Pokemon, guys. I'm not such a noob when it comes to Pokemon, but just look at this luxurious Pokemon. Look at his beautiful fur. Look at that little Super Saiyan thing growing across his face, that like, yellow stuff. Like, he's Super Saiyan 1, and then the little gray mustache coming down his face, and then the red coming out the side. He's just a like he's just a beast standing up looking all strong like he's the king of the world looking like he's the lion king on top of the cliff about to hold up his little child and start singing yeah you guys all know that song so yeah guys it's a pretty sick pokemon i like it. i'm not sure what the attacks are but i just really picked up this i picked this pokemon because it just looks like a complete boss yeah at the top 4 spot, we have that one Pokemon none of us want to get in the ring with. It is the cool looking Mag Champ. How many Mag Champs does it take to screw in 4 light bulbs? Only one because it got 4 arms! Look at that little, little, little doing that little wave thing with his arm. Looking like, like you're about to chop someone in the neck just kill him with one hit. The one hitter quitter and then like the little thing like his palm sticking out like he's about to do the Bruce Lee thing. And turn you into another dimension what am i saying i'm just rambling on but it's just a beast pokemon i'm pretty sure his attacks are fucking like crucial oh my god i just cursed don't listen to that kids i'm really hyper right now and that's why i felt like doing this and it's just a beast pokemon i wouldn't i'll probably knock this pokemon out because i'm pretty strong you know me i lift weight bench press 250 but yeah guys boss ass pokemon everyone has grown to love magchamp everyone probably loves every pokemon in the universe no one hates a pokemon at least i don't hate any pokemon these are just my top five pokemon now what am i saying let's move on to the spot number three at the number three spot, we have the one and only Venusaur. This Pokemon will come out the grass, catch you with a quick attack of the jungle hammer, does a 90% damage. And if you heal 30 more damage to your own Pokemon, oh my god, this Pokemon's like God, literally, and no, he's not God. He got that 180 HP that's probably kind of difficult to knock out. But yeah, guys, it's Mega Venusaur or Venusaur EX. I'm not sure how to explain it. Uh, you guys should know more than I do. It's just a kick-ass Pokemon. It's probably one of the Pokemons. This is literally probably one of the only Pokemons everyone has to love. It's one of the starter Pokemons. Well, obviously when you evolve it, because that makes sense, because you start out with Bulbasaur, and then it goes on to Evasaur, Ivasaur, and then it goes on to Venusaur. Because bada bing, bada boom, I know my Pokemon evolutions. Yeah. At the number two spot, we have the huge, fiery Charizard. He will literally spit fire in your face. Burn off all your flesh, burn off your eyebrows, and having you look like a skeleton that's coming out of his grave. I'm not sure if that kind of rhymed, but I'm kind of really hyper right now. But yeah, guys, Charizard is one of the first starter Pokemon, to, I think, in any Pokemon game, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, guys, like, literally, Charizard is the boss. I, I believe he's, like, the boss of all Pokemon. I'm not sure I could be wrong, because then again, I am a noob at Pokemon, but I just feel like he owns every Pokemon in the world. He's a beast. He's huge. His evolu evolutions are crazy. He goes from Charmander to Charmeleon to Charizard, and then he might transform into a Mega Charizard. If I'm saying making any sense, and I've improved in my pokemon vocabulary and evolution so you guys feel like i've learned more since my first video make sure to just drop that like I, even though this is the only second pokemon who could be pokemon number top one we are about to find out finally finally at the number one spot we have pikachu oh, oh, oh. honestly he's one of my favorite all-time pokemon of all time pokemon that made no sense, but still, it's Pikachu. Like, have you seen the thunder come out of his cheeks? He'll literally knock out any Pokemon with one thunderbolt strike to the face. Literally. Literally. 
Like, I'm not even joking. Like, if if Pikachu was real, like, he'll probably, like, demolish the world. He'll probably be that one type of Pokemon that if you ever have a blackout in your house, you'll just call him and he'll, like, juice up your house and, like, you'll be, like, like your house will be full of electricity because he's an electric Pokemon. Not like you guys didn't know that. But I'm pretty sure his attacks are pretty, pretty crucial in the game and in the movies and stuff. But I really just like him for his appearance because it's probably the only first Pokemon I knew. So yeah, I kind of cooled down a little bit throughout the whole video. My voice is cracking. Yeah. Well, that is all, guys, for today. Those are my top five favorite Pokemon. And if you guys want me to do another top five, leave me what a top five recommendation to do in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. I've been really hyper right now. That's why I kind of figured, hey, I should do my top five, my very first top five, because I'm not very good at narrating, as you guys can see. But I was like, hey, maybe I'm hyper, so I'll probably just play along and say some dumb shit's nuts and you guys would probably laugh and be like this guy has no idea what he's talking about and I don't peace